Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, how are you? I hope you are fine and uh, you, your days are going well. And uh, inshallah, uh, within short time, we'll be again in the, we'll meet again in the classroom and uh, you'll within very uh, very short time the government will inshallah will open the class today uh, i will take the class on um, uh, theme writing it is very uh, important uh, feature of your uh, first paper uh, in its first paper and uh, in this uh, topic, you will have to write a, a theme of a given poem or prose. Uh, and this covers eight marks. And it will come in the writing part of your uh, writing part of your question paper. And uh, uh, it is a bit close to the question number three of your uh, question paper. Uh, question number three demands that you should write the summary of the given passes, which comes from your text. But uh, theme is a bit different. Uh, a given poem or story may come from all uh, may come from text or outside the text today our learning outcome will be uh, you will know about theme what is theme you will come to know it and you will be able to identify uh, the theme of poetry uh, so what is theme and to identify theme from a poem, uh, from uh, you will be able to know uh, after uh, the class, and you will be able to write themes of the poem. Okay, uh, that means three things. You will uh, today will learn about three things. One, one is what is theme. Two, how to identify theme from the poem and three is how to write the theme of the poems and writing theme is very much important and uh, uh, and you will be just in the examination on the basis of your writing so this is definition of theme and uh, this uh, I, I have collected all these materials from internet and uh, what is theme Theme is actually uh, the main uh, idea of a poem, or uh, we can say that the main point on which the poem, uh, poem tells something to us. The uh, theme is the, uh, in a sense, you can say that theme is the message that the poet or the writer wants to convey. So what is written here? Uh, the theme in a story is its underlying message or big idea. In other words, what critical belief about life is the author trying to convey in the writing of a novel, play, short story, or poem? That means theme is the message that is uh, or the big idea. The idea which is given in the story is called theme. In other words, what critical belief about life is the author trying to convey? What is the author uh, thinks about the life uh, or the society? Uh, he just put it into words. That uh, in the poetry or uh, in the story that is uh, written uh, uh, under a story or um, an imaginary thing 
or uh, because uh, a poet or writer doesn't give the um, uh, portrays the real picture under cover or in disguise of another uh, of its story okay so in the upper uh, above the surface you will see one thing but when you will think uh, uh, deeply you will find that the uh, poet or the writer uh, is giving actually uh, a message so uh, this is his uh, critical thinking about life this belief or idea transcends cultural barriers. It overcomes the cultural barriers. It is usually universal in nature. The thinking, uh, say a poet is thinking from his uh, reading table, but it covers the whole world. That is why it is considered that it is universal in nature. When a theme is universal, it touches on the human experience. If a theme is universal, uh, it is said that it touches the human experience. That means it comes out of the human experience, the experience that we get there uh, in our life, regardless of race or language. And it uh, covers the race, uh, it covers race, language, and uh, it is the uh, it is uh, such a thought which uh, is the thought of every race and every language. It is what the story means. That means it is that uh, it is the inner meaning of the story. Often a piece of writing will have more than one thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, generally, uh, we consider that a writing may have one thing, may only one thing. It may happen, but sometimes it, uh, the writer provides more than one thing. Multiple theme uh, comes in the uh, come in the storyline. Now, uh, so uh, theme is the, uh, in short or in fine, you can say that theme is the underlying message of a poem or a prose or a story or a novel. The message, the main message of the poem or the writing. Now come to uh, the next slide. We see that uh, uh, here it is written that no story is complete without a few essential elements. So no story is complete without few essential elements. So everything is um, made of some uh, components. So uh, poetry or literature is not out of that. And uh, literature in literature, while, when you will analyze a literary piece, you will find that there is characters. Uh, there is setting, there is plot, and there is conflict and other things. I mentioned four things here. The characters. Characters is uh, the important feature of uh, uh, literary piece because literature uh, is about life. Uh, is literature uh, is the depiction of or is the picturization of our uh, life our society so the characters is important and they will come in the story and uh, literature tells about our life so people the people who take part in the action of the story are called the characters so whenever we will read a literary piece we need to uh, concentrate on the characters uh, who are playing a role in this story. This, the first question will raise. Then the setting, where uh, the story is taking place. The story, uh, is it in a rural black, uh, background or is it in a urban background or is it in a school or is it in the nature? So we have to uh, find out that thing. Uh, in at the time of reading the literary piece. Then the plot, 
plot is the compilation of the events or uh, it may uh, uh, that means the event that uh, takes place in the that happens in the story or uh, in the process of the story uh, is called plot there may be a single plot story there may be multiple plot story conflict and uh, this is very important in every story there is some uh, there is some um, conflict that's uh, wh uh, so what is the definition given here the struggle faced by the main character that must reach a resolution that means in every in our life we face problems in the story we will find that the characters are also facing a certain problem or a range of problems so these problems uh, the uh, writer tries uh, tries to find out the solution of this problem and uh, this is uh, called conflict uh, so i hope uh, before uh, when you will read the poem or prose you will have to look into uh, these things uh, you have to find out the characters setting plot and conflict how to identify the theme of a poem first we'll read the poem then we'll find out the plot setting characters uh, then uh, our um, target to write the theme of the poem is to ask few questions we have to ask few questions to ask what are they the first question is are there any words or phrases or actions that are repeated that means is there any word or is there any question which, which is coming again and again? If there is such type of word or words, uh, you have to pick it up because this word is important because uh, it is coming again and again. That means the poet is uh, giving emphasis on this word then uh, is uh, the the question is what is the lesson the character learned at the end then so uh, just to make it clear uh, the message the teaching are um, uh, that the uh, character uh, earn, uh, the characters earn of, uh, at the end of the uh, story or at, at the end of the um, poem. So, uh, ending, ending part of the poem is very important. There, the um, writer gives the uh, real message in the second portion. First portion of the poem or the story is the uh, beginning of the storyline. Uh, what is all, uh, about the story then in the third uh, in the last portion it will uh, he will uh, give us uh, he will give us some su uh, suggestion how to solve it so the teaching of the poem is uh, we have to question what is the teaching of the poem what the character learned from the poem what does the poet teach his readers? So this is almost the same. Why has the author chosen this particular subject? Now, you will find that there is a teaching, there the characters learn something. But why this uh, learning is important, we have to uh, make a question on this thing. Uh, and uh, if we ask this question and uh, some answer will come, then we ha you have to write on that answer. That means you uh, the teaching of the passage or poem of the uh, story and uh, its connection with the society uh, is important thing. Um, so um, we you will have to be sure of this thing. 
And then the last question, what are the large issues or universal concept the fight is talking about in this point? So it is almost uh, same to the previous one. That means why the subject matter is chosen and what is the universal message? If you find, if you can find this out, then you are uh, at the finishing li line of your uh, understanding of theme. Okay, then uh, there are some common themes in these slides. I'm showing you some common themes that comes in the poem. Uh, compassion, that means your sympathy and empathy uh, for someone. Uh, courage, the brave thing. Death and dying. Death uh, is a very common theme of uh, uh, writing. Honesty is there, loyalty is there, uh, perseverance is there. Uh, importance of family uh, in man's life is there. Uh, benefits of hard work. So if you are industrious, you will do uh, good in the in your life. This is the common theme of uh, today's uh, of uh, literary writings. And the power of love, love, friendship are the um, important themes of poetry because we are social being and uh, these our social construction our social uh, society uh, the base of our society is love uh, and friendship we uh, make a society with the person uh, with whom we can uh, we have the understanding we have the same thoughts we have the same cultures then revenge is another important uh, theme redemption uh, is salvation uh, that means how ma man can get salvation it is one of the theme and uh, one thing is not written here uh, is that man's love for nature nature is a very important theme of uh, poetry. So among these themes, death, love, um, friendship, uh, nature, revenge are the most common themes uh, as we find in the literature. Okay, so we are going to the next slide. In your question, in the exam, uh, theme, uh, as I told earlier, uh, theme, may, uh, the topic, the given poem, may be from the text or maybe outside the text. So today, I have uh, given some poems here in, in my lecture, but um, though I uh, though the, there are classes on these poems, but for the sake of understanding theme, uh, I have to give it again. So this is the uh, writing of William Shakespeare, and uh, William Shakespeare's um, uh, drama, as you like it, uh, is the famous one. And from that uh, drama, uh, play from that play, uh, this lines this it, it is actually a song, and it has been taken from as you like it, and it is uh, about um, some human relationship and the importance uh, of some uh, say love, friendship etc in man's life and there is a hinted uh, suggestion for us or for everybody is that uh, how should we love look like how should be friendship look like okay say i, I will uh, as our class time is limited and i will uh, move quickly to this point say uh, i'll not uh, sort out every uh, lines of this problem, just uh, skim through it. Blow, blow the winter wind, thou art not so unkind. Uh, blow, blow the winter wind, uh, thou art not so unkind. Uh, you are not so unkind as man's ingratitude. Uh, man's ingratitude is um, uh, very much unkind. 
the attitude is not uh, so keen uh, because thou art not seen all the thy breath be rude hey ho sing hey ho unto the green hole holly most friendship is fading most love in mere folly then hey ho the holly this life is most jolly um freeze freeze the bitter sky that does not buy so nigh as benefits for god though the uh, the wind water swap thy stream is not so sharp as friend remember not hey ho sing hey ho unto the green holly okay say uh, maybe this poem is uh, for me for the first time i am reading it for the first time so um on what things i will concentrate say let's see here is winter wind here the green uh, word green is here winter wind is here and um, then uh, um, uh, water is here uh, then uh, so freeze coldness freeze the water uh, word freeze is here so all these words freeze water um, winter wind um, uh, these are connected to nature so this poem is somehow connected to nature so we have to get it then who is talking uh, as it is uh, though art as, as uh, here somebody are um, the, uh, they are talking to the you though it uh, the word t h o u came that means to you though uh, so uh, first person is talking to the second person okay and who is the second person the nature is the second person first person is man and then come to uh, these words i have uh, painted red or marked with red is man's ingratitude and um, man's ingratitude manusher um ki akritoggata then the comes the word friendship is feigning that means friendship is full of uh, folly and uh, it is not trustworthy this friendship is not loyal one most friendship is feigning that means more, most friendship is full of subterfuge and most loving may are folly uh, so these all are comic ideas love has become a comedy uh, that means there is no seriousness in love okay and then come uh, benefits for god uh, we got the word in gratitude in the first portion of the poem then uh, comes the word for god, benefits for god that means uh, you uh, help the person but that person forget your help this is indicating in this word then friend remember not uh, when your friend forget you that hurts so the uh, nature uh, the winter season uh, is the harsh season among the seasons of the uh, nature winter is the uh, uh, winter uh, is a very rude and harsh season because of its cold temperature but in that cold you can survive that cold but you cannot survive or you but you cannot uh, tolerate ingratitude uh, uh, benefits for god and friends uh, remembered not that means you uh, if your friend forget you if your benefit is forgotten if your benefits are forgotten and if you see that uh, men are not grateful then you cannot tolerate that thing so uh, bad nature and bad qualities characteristics of man these are compared here so these are the uh, from here from these points you have to write your thing uh, one thing important thing i must say in the exam 
uh, you have to write the theme within seven, uh, 50 words. Yeah, 50 words. Uh, and uh, you may go on above 50, uh, this, uh, uh, up to 60. But you have to keep in mind that 50 words. In your sense, you have to complete your writing within 50 words. So here lies your excellence. If you are a good, uh, you have good reading capacity, you can comprehend uh, your uh, 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 poem, then you have to be a good writer because you have to express your thoughts or your understanding within 50 words, uh, within the limitation of 50 words. So there lies your test. You will be tested in that case. Okay. So, uh, so uh, from the first point, we have to uh, came, uh, came to understand that how, how words are important and we have to analyze those words, which words are important. Not every word is important for writing theme. The, there are some significant words in at the time of writing. Here is another text, uh, poem from your text. It is written by W.B. Yeats and it is called, uh, the title of the poem is The Lake Isle of Innisfree. The Lake Isle of Innisfree. So uh, from the title, uh, we come to know that it is also related to nature. Okay. And uh, I'm reading it quickly. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree. A small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there and a hive for the honeybee and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there. For peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the bales of the morning to where the cricket sings. They are midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow, and evening full of the leer's wings. I will rise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake wet water lapping with low sounds by the shore, while I stand on the roadway and on the pavement's gray. I hear it in the deep heart's core. So what we see, I will arise and go now. These lines came uh, uh, twice in this poem. In the very first line, I will arise and go now and go to Inisfri. Uh, the poet is expressing his desire to go to the Inisfri uh, lake area and he's uh, uh, telling it again. I will arise and go now for all his night and day. This time he's added that for all his night and day. That means it's time to go there for good. And uh, another important thing is that the second last line, uh, the pavement's gray. And the while I, the line before it, the while I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray. That means he's in the Pavements, where will you get, get pavements? In the city area. Okay, there is, and the, he's sitting uh, on the roadway on the pavements that is gray. Color is gray, dull color. Gray is a dull color. And I, uh, well, that's why he is living in the city, but he uh, wants to go to the lake area. Where? There is a noon full of purple. That means in the city, the color is gray, but in, in the lake area, uh, you will get uh, ranges of colors. Among uh, purple is there. So there is a shipment of colors. The shipment of the, the what's this shipment indicate? This shipment indicates uh, that his life in the city is a boring one but he hopes or he uh, dreams a life, uh, her life is colorful. What will happen there? Will he make a society there? Will he take his wife? Will he take his family there or his friends there? No, he wants to live alone. 
who will come uh, uh, from uh, who will be his friend uh, the b the uh, bean uh, tr the trees the forest and the lake water and the sound of the uh, bees the buzzing of the bees and the sound of the lake uh, water will be uh, his musical company life will be charming in this lake so you have to and the uh, cricket sings gg uh, cricket gg poka so uh, he loves to go to the lap of the nature because he doesn't like the greenness of the city life and he wants to go there for always night and so these way uh, there are some words who what will tell you that what is the poet wants to say okay so you have to pick all the words in your thoughts you have to pick and think over them and uh, uh, then you have to weave your writing but within 50 words it's a good game poems may come from outside the textbook uh, here is one uh, for you the road not taken uh, by robert frost um, uh, robert frost is an american poet and uh, wb yates was an irish poet william shakespeare british poet and drama a playwright and robert frost is an american romantic writer uh this poem is uh will read a specimen answer a moral answer of uh, theme on this uh, poem first we just go uh, through it uh, very quickly and and uh, try to understand what we understand uh, get from it um two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both that means I'm in a position, I'm in an intersection, and from there, two roads uh, is in front of me, there are two roads. Which roads I will choose? This is the question. Very critical part of the traveler's life. And sorry, I could not travel both. Be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then look the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted where. So one road is uh, one road looks like this, another road uh, looks like uh, that. And both, true, as far that passing there had warned them really about the same. Uh, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the fast for another day yet knowing how way leads on the on two way i doubt it if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So what is told here? Who is the speaker? The poet is the speaker. Here, the, it is a first person point of view. Uh, here, I, the speaker is I. It may be the poet or someone else, but we will say that it is uh, written in the first person point of view. What is the inner uh, tone here? Confusion, confusion. That there are two roads. One is uh, used, well used. Another is uh, almost unused. One road is very much well used. Another is unused. What is common tendency? We all love to go to the used path. It is said, it is told in the society that always go to the Janapot Gurahuleo Bhalo. Go 
take the known path. But the writer, the poet was confused. What he did at last, he took the one less traveled by. Jeta di beshi hata hoy ni, chetai tini beshi ni len. And that has made all the difference. Chetai shab difference to hi kore dilo, patto ko to hi kore dilo. Shobai doctor engineer hote chaay. O chacha na pote hete engineer holo doctor holo. Kintu kewa ek jo nekta alternative track ke lo, yung shikana kuch bhalo kore chullo. Shobai doctor engineer holo. Hello, doctor. Hello, engineer. Kew action air Roman hoye gelo. Chita actor different story gori dilo. A Roman is known to all, but all doctors is not known to all. All engineers are known known to all. Sometimes taking the less traveled path makes a difference. So. The important thing is first point of this poem. There is confusion. What to do? In man's life, there has come some certain point when man becomes confu confused or man uh, fell in a fix that what to do? Whether I will go to right or whether I will go to the left. But whatever the situation is, decision making is very much important. Decision making is very much important. Now we will go for uh, we'll see a model answer uh, of the on the theme of the road not taken. We'll just read it, and this is the last part of our lecture today. The road not taken. The Rabas Frost, The Road Not Taken is a poem about the choices faced in life. The, about the choices uh, in man's life. Okay. And to illustrate these choices, Frost uses a metaphor of a forked path in a wood. One way is well trodden and the other is fresh with grass. That means the use path, in the use path, there, uh, over the use path, there will be no grass because people uh, move there regularly. The other is fresh with grass. The first symbolizes a safe, easy choice which others often take. The second, the one Frost chooses, is more risky and unknown. Ross regrets that he could not travel both, but just as life decisions are irreversible. The path he chooses leads on to further paths. That means, what do you want to do? Say you are in now in intermediate first year. Our society, your parents will tell you that well, just read this, read this. They will say this thing on the perspective of social uh, values. On the social perspective. But if you are confident enough, then you can make a choice. And the confident person, a successful person, takes decision, right decisions and he relies on his own decision. He takes suggestion, but decision is his own chapter. This is the masses of the poem. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, inshallah, uh, when the college will reopen, we'll meet in the classroom.
if uh, we are told to take online classes, we will also inshallah take all online class. But one thing you should remember, uh, say, uh, stay safe and use mask and uh, sanitizer and keep yourself clean. That's all today. Thank you. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.